If I could believe in tenderness, I would say I loved. But I do not speak of it. There is always desire and longing sticking to my shoes, tracking them across the decades like a path of flames. And there is affection, often deeply, like a drink of mellow brandy, warm and held close to my lips, but not touching. Other forms of love, lust, desperate cloying whispers in the nakedness of night. The only other things I know that resemble but do not really mean love cannot come close. That one night stand, one of many on my travels through whiskey towns and blues bars, you sat at my table where I was on my third drink and finally you grabbed my hand led me to your hotel room and after stripping off every vestige of pretension we made something akin to love until before falling asleep you said stay in my own hotel room, separate from yours, I took a bath, unable to wash the pleasure away, crying in my washcloth, and laying on the flat landscape of my own bed, I thought of you, just as I'm thinking of you now, wishing I could have stayed with you, but knowing I could never love you the way newly met lovers do, I cannot feel regret. You deserve so much more than I could ever give. There is no word for what I remember as love, resembling hatred and loss, it dies before it can be spoken. It was present every morning in the house where I grew up, dominated every room and corner, the way my father's cigarette ashes covered everything of mine and no amount of bathing could remove it. And no amount of supplication, no amount of prayer, takes away the wrenching feeling of love that he taught me, nor that forbidden feeling that steals into my heart with every remembrance. So sorry if I confuse all that for love, and I'm so sorry every other word I use must be a denial of what I feel whenever we speak. Although I continue saying it, as though I know and feel it in my soul, I must use other words, so pale in comparison, to say what I feel for you. I must not speak of 
love as I remember it. Instead, I say I love you, meaning something else. And genuine affection, a close substitute, permeates all the rest of all the words.